And now we continue. Yeah, the throttling is, uh, isn't really useful. <laughs> the only mission on the board. On to the final act. The only final act of sequence 2? Sequence 8? That's it. All right, Jacob. Mm. Are you all right? Locate Maxwell Roth in the Alhambra Music Hall and assassinate him. Sure. Roth. Stealth opportunity, waitress assassinated, assistance opportunity, and machinist unique kill opportunity. I only see one right now. God. Masks only. I repeat, ladies and gentlemen, this entrance is for masks only. May I ask the mask guests to line up over here, please? The very notion that a person of my status would be shot you in a bit. May I ask the mask guests to line up over here, please? If you want a mask, talk to the man over there. May I ask the mask guests to line up over here, please? What if I do this? Masks only. I repeat, ladies and gentlemen, this entrance is for masks only. Masks only. I repeat, ladies and gentlemen, this entrance is for masks only. What the hell? What am I supposed to do? The 
West End has certainly come into its own this season. It has, indeed, sir. Aren't these masks marvellous? What a splendid idea this is! I'll just oh, take a mask out of the random person. Put a mask from Ross Scout near the music hall. Easy entry. Find the mask, join the group. Dead as a dodo. Like he wouldn't recognize me like that. Corvus the Trickster is a very odd title, my dear. I believe that Corvus is Latin for Ladies curve. and gentlemen, this entrance I've never is a mask's own labor. Let us enter the theater for tonight's performance. After you. You have to make the big gestures for the people in the gallery, otherwise they can't see what's happening. Really? It's a bit more. Thank you. Stop that trespass! Everyone ready? Then let's proceed. Wish the music hall of Antichrist. My name is Sewer. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Alhambra Music Hall. Tonight, we have, for one night only, a very special performance of Corvus the Trickster. While some of the effects may be visceral and highly disturbing, do not be alarmed, my good people. Fear not. This is a purest form of entertainment. Tonight's performance immortalizes and is for the benefit of a young fellow very near and dear to my heart. Any concerns or complaints may be addressed to him. <laughs> Jacob, dear boy, tonight is for you. Uh-huh. I wonder what's behind all this wood paneling. Great place for storage, great place to hide. I'm here. I'll be serving you this evening, gentlemen. You're still there, love. Last time, I swear, you nearly poisoned us. Scene two, stand by. Let me out! I need to lower the grid for the show. Okay, let's talk to the waitress. And then kill the machinist. Or free the machinist. Think I can skip for it early tonight? Not on your life, Mary. Figures. Mr. Roth says there's a big surprise in store for everyone. Yeah, of course, there are people getting us. A big round of applause for this brave, brave man. Where's the waitress? Our volunteer is about to die for you, Jacob. What a brave soul going up on stage like you that. You lucky people are about to oh, witness yes, this gentleman down. being fired upon at point blank range. Our performer will hit several targets placed around his head. What do you Exciting, think that's for me? Is it not? Yeah, I bet I can get the waitress to help me find out who's the real one. Guest go on huh? 
We bridge are a hardy bunch. Let's put that hardiness to the test. That's not what you said on our wedding day. Excuse me, love. Just looking for the lavatory. It's over there. Thanks. I want to see. I want to see. That's enough. I just kicked your woman off me. The orange weapon to kill the decoy. What a thrill! Do not fret, my friends. It's all part of the show. Please stay with us as we prepare for the next turn. Oh my! Are your principles drifting, dear? Roger Lee, no one. Let's get a drink, shall we? Don't stop now! Don't you motherfucker! Kill the bloody pauper, Foxtrot! That's the way to do it! Yes! That's a better class of violence! No, for the love of God, don't kill me! I'll pay you anything you wish! Just don't hurt me! Where is she going? Two porters and a ginger ale, if you please. Right, you are, Mary. I ate this godforsaken job. I should be up there. There is a reason for this politics. You're right. There's a very good reason indeed. The flavour intensifies the second time. The hunt now a search for want rather than need. No, I don't need to do it again. Yeah, no ranged weapons. as to what this one concerns, my friends. Our courageous participant hasn't even flinched! Two quarters and a ginger ale. Standing a few feet away, our performer expertly throws his knives at the apple, slicing it in two. is can I now just walk in the or was that a bad idea? Fancy boots. No. More fancy boots. Oh, 
Okay, one taken care of. No. This is industry friendly's progress. Doesn't seem like it's me. Oh, it's complicated. He's more son you can. If he's not Roth, leaves a strange taste in your mouth, doesn't it? Like eating pork when expecting venison. I need you out of the way. Is that really him or is that not a decoy? Can't tell. How did he get through? Come here. Okay, no one saw anything. Hang on. Okay. A daisy, tall muchly. Wait for him to lower the rafter above the stage. No. Oh. 
No. Switch. Left. Climb. Wait, oh, there he is. Climb it! Climb it! You have enjoyed your evening so far, ladies and gentlemen. I know I have. Now, before our final act, I would like to toast all you brave people who joined us tonight to celebrate life and death. Go on, toast them! <laughs> your move, Jacob, my dear! Burn! 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 Cut the rope to assassinate Ross. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Over here, Jacob. Don't hide from me, darling. How do I cut it? Of legends. Why did you do it? All of it. What? Snap a baby crow's neck between my thumb and forefinger. Slice to bits the ones you deem innocent. Keep the world in its divine, manic state. For the same reason, I do anything. This <laughs> disgusting. Why not? <laughs> you disgusting bastard. I'll oh, escape the Alhambra. I'll never make it out alive. Damn this place from hell to Hackney! How the hell? Restart. Let's check my I'll never make it out alive. Find one pole that isn't on fire. Uh. 
Nope. Damn this place from hell to Hackney. What? Oh, what a nightmare. Okay. Please start. For the last checkpoint. Okay. First of all, get off the stage. Damn this place from hell to Hackney. Second level. Run across, get down, and out. <coughs> fire brigade! Where's the fire brigade? <coughs> maximum Dracula schematic. What is Maximum Dracula? Disorder. The sea rises to flood the pubs and extinguish the street lamps. Our city will die. Tupinay has failed. Lucy has failed. Brudenell Elliotson. Pearl. All have gone into the night. It's up to me now. The assassins have brought nature's fury into our homes. Men have become monsters. Barreling toward us, teeth out. Our civilization must survive this onslaught. Prevent a return of the Dark Ages. I will start anew. London must be reborn. The Peace of Eden is under Buckingham Palace. We've got all we need. Let's start planning our infiltration. Hold on. Better to get visual verification. If we're going to move, we need to be 100% sure. We'll only get one shot before Otso Berg crashes down on us. Gotta agree with Sean. We'll position ourselves near the palace, but we'll wait for you to sync the genetic data before we move. It's all up to you, Initiate. Let me do my thing. You're late. Staric is making his move. The Peace of Eden is somewhere inside Buckingham Palace. Let him have it. I've what? seen your handiwork across the city. Perhaps you should trust my judgment. I've been killing Staric's henchmen. What have you been doing? Let's ask Henry, shall we? I have been repairing your mistakes. Too much haste is too little speed. Don't you quote father at me. That's Plato. And I am sorry, this doesn't involve anything you can destroy. Father was right, he never approved of your methods! Father is dead! Enough! I have just received word from my spies. At the palace ball tonight, Staric plans to steal the Peace of Eden, and then eliminate all the heads of church and state. Once more, for all time's sake. And then we're finished. Agreed. So what's the plan? The plan is you let me play Eevee. 
such an unexpected delight to visit you both. What is the news on the street? Mrs. Disraeli, we have discovered that there is something inside Buckingham Palace that could threaten the... <laughs> what my sister's failing to say is that we require entrance into the ball tonight. But impossible! Even if there were any invitation cards remaining, which there are not, uh, someone of your lowly station... If that damn fool Gladstone is attending this evening, they can have my card. Perfect. Then I'll go alone. Mrs. Disraeli, if you'd be kind enough to inform my darling brother of the location of the Gladstone's residence, perhaps he could use his considerable skills to commandeer their cards. <laughs> what fun! Did you hear that, Dizzy? We're going to pinch the Gladstone's invitations. Thank you for volunteering me, sweet sister. Oh, a pleasure, brother, dearest. Now, Mrs. Disraeli, if you would excuse me, I must visit with the Maharaja. It occurs to me that he may have a second set of plans to a certain vault. Don't kill any policemen. The Devil's Handshake, no. Secret item. Maximum Dracula. Yeah, sure, I have everything I need. Nightshade, I don't have the Boudicca talk. Increase melee damage received, decrease range damage received, increase brass knuckle damage. Yeah, definitely Jacob's outfit. This sure, let's try and use that. Use these heavy knuckles to punch people in the face, just like an eagle. The nerve of Evie treating me like a child. You're a child. Nothing. All done. Just static remains. Where's the palace? That's not the palace, but where's the Gladstone residence? Where's the green dot? Can I play Eevee? No. <laughs> what was that? Oh, with the sketches and field notes. Huh. Okay. Don't kill policemen. Got it. <laughs> no, you idiot. The goddamn street. see any others. How's it the 
sight for sore eyes, Mr. Fry. Still doesn't look like a proper street. Why are you so bad at this? <laughs> that a street? That looks like a street. Okay. Coming. Let's go. Walk on, girl. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't drive a car. Are you driving on the wrong side of the road? Can they be? The ball is tonight. They must have taken the invitations with them. Speak with the kid. Who's the kid? You wouldn't happen to have seen two carriages pass by here just now. I did, sir. One with a man in it, the other with a woman. They split up. Why did, Where did they the split man go? Up? That way. Thank you. Where the hell did they split up? It's easier to use a door. No, it's easier to use the window. Doing fine, girl. That's a girl. Just ran someone over. Some definition of trend. Go down! Right, 
Whoa, no. What's over here? Dear Mr. Gladstone's invitation. Okay, you guys. I wait will here. return. On your orders. I think I'm hearing a glitch. In your household? No. It will be you. Alone. So I say to you, the money you earn should stay in your pockets. Okay. How do you do? Sir, an honor. Thank you for your continued support. I salute you, sir. Will you dance <laughs> at your service? Where is he exactly? Should probably take that one out first. Coastal girls over there. Coming. Look, he's there. No, no, no. Just wait till I get hold of you. I have a good shot. And for was no murder. No one was murdered. Oh, they're glitching all the way over there. Oh, come on. Wait for me here. Thank you all. Hege, hege, nigge, schmigge.
Me keep looking for you. Oh. Please, I'll do anything you want. Just let me live. Oh. Oh. Ah, it's not worth it. <laughs> Oi, stop oh. there, sir. Oh, my. We can see ya. <laughs> Somebody must be after him. Please, hmm. I want to fight. Have ah. a Do not let Mr. Gladstone out your sight. Don't make me do something oh! I've never begged for my life before. But please, spare me. Okay, just need to take him out. What do you want? So you better run away. It doesn't have to be this way. Please, please. Please leave me be. What do you want? Mr. Gladstone must be shielded at all costs. <laughs> Then don't start now. <laughs> Maybe I haven't been quite as delicate as I could have been, but still. What? Well, was perfectly fine. No one died. A few people are gonna, gonna wake up with a headache. <laughs> Where's the glitch? I can hear it. Hear it. Aha. Entire thing is restricted earlier. Well, that's high up. leap of faith. <laughs> I can see the birds. Oh, they're aiming.
Mrs. Gladstone's under guard. Better be cautious. Better wait until she's alone. Now you're talking caution. Now is my chance. Oopsie. One should not attend the Queen's ball without making a proper entrance. Not damage the Gladstone carriage. Then I shall move it. I want the glitch. Where is it? There it is. That's a cat. What the hell are you doing up here? And what did I pick up? Nope, not eight yet. Missing four, at least. Wait, the box is on this level? the exit. Now for the invitations. What's this? Swords must be left at the door by order of the Queen. Couldn't make five meters without smashing into something. <laughs> and do I have any more upgrades? Or did I buy everything? Not attend the Queen's ball without making yeah, a proper is. entrance. <laughs> now for the invitations. What's this? Swords must be left at the door by order of the Queen. Freddy will know what to do.
Easy now. <sighs> Who's a good horse? You are. <laughs> That's a girl. Whoa there! Watch oh, out where you're bloody going! Where'd you learn to drive? Uh, out of the way. Being fine, girl. Finally, Devil's Handshake. What is the Devil's Your Handshake? Kill someone. Ah, yeah, I already have that on. Dress to impress, sequence 9. Jacob meets Evelyn to discuss getting weapons into the ball. What are you doing? Thought you were promoted. Quite a carriage you got there. Where did you buy it, if, if you don't mind me asking? Ask all you want, Freddy. You'll never get an answer. Damn it all. Was it my eyebrows? Yes, and your face, voice and body. Look, I've got an invitation to the Queen's Ball tonight. How did you come by that? Freddy, there's to be an attack on the ball. I need to smuggle some weapons inside to prevent it. Supposing I believe you. Only the Royal Guard carries weapons. So... Too easy. For God's sake, Freddy. Fine. I require a guard's uniform. Done. I knew you'd come through. Just promise me, Jacob, that you will return Mr. Gladstone's coach. Of course. <laughs> yeah, I don't need it right now, but it can stay. I don't need to go all the way up there. Search for royal guards. <laughs> Just walking the streets. Knockout do not kill anyone. Sir, 
Where are you going? Get back here! I hear another glitch. I'm gonna find you, and when I do, you'll regret it! Uh-huh. Where'd he get to? This will end poorly for you! God damn it! Stop! I've got a beard! <laughs> Best you got! <laughs> you think you can escape me? Finally. Okay. Swear I heard something. Still hiding, eh? It's only a matter of time. Oh, didn't see it, though. I don't hmm. think he wants to be that disturbed. That poor soul should see justice served. Anybody know what's going on? Ah! Oof. There'll be trouble if we go, I can tell you that. Yeah, I don't really have any place to hide him here. See the body and come over, right? No hesitation. I can't miss him. I'm just stealing a girl. <laughs> have knives in your tool uh, slot when you're trying to be non-lethal.
Don't get somewhere I can hear it. I heard something. I'm going back to work! Captain! God damn it! You're finished, chum! Turn away. Fetch him out. I'll be a yeah. I know to do in the middle of the city. Nothing surprises me anymore. <laughs> Charming. Now to hide the body. In the carriage. Ready? Here I come. I wanted to hide it in the carriage, I just put it here at the start. But fine. How's the glitch? Get moving! London. One uniform as requested. 
It's still warm. <laughs> My gift to you? I will meet you on the roof of Buckingham Palace. Oh, you're so gonna romantic. get. Oh, you're gonna get on the roof. Master Assassin's Belt. And the carriage is gone. It's worse than mine. Still worse than mine. Can I switch to Eevee? Hey. Family politics sequence nine. Have a rest, brother dear. I'll come right over there and deal. Oh, no, aim for the other building. If he visits to Leaf Singh to learn if a second set of Buckingham plans exist. Oh, Raja, sir. Delighted to see you again, Miss Fry. Your Highness, the plans detailing the renovations to Buckingham Palace have gone astray. I suppose you will have to make do with the copies. There are copies? Where? Uh, not so fast. First, I have a matter of some urgency. Carrying out my plan would require stealth and speed, qualities I know you possess. Time is of the essence, Your Highness. Then make this quick, my dear. The most influential men in Parliament remain beyond my reach. But these very men have sent for carriages to prepare for the ball tonight. Acquire an official carriage, and we shall drive the politicians to their destinations. Along the way, I will meet with them, and afterward, I shall tell you where to find the plans. You're a shrewd negotiator. One must be when one is so often underestimated. Sure. Can I steal a police carriage? Don't allow personal feelings to compromise the mission. I'm still going to take him this. No. Oh, the carriage is following me. There you are. Hey, I stole a police carriage. Give me the achievement. Oh, 
Aha. Without entering the courtyard. First of all, wait. wait for me. What I You too. Any goings on? All right then. I've been seeing adverts for this show. Mm -hmm. Might be a lock. I shall return. Sure thing. Sure thing. That's it, girl. But if I step in, I lose, right? Whoa, what if I'm only on the roof? Being here doesn't compromise me. I'm gonna get that correspondence. I said, wait. Allowed in the courtyard. I can also hear a glitch.
What are you doing here? No need to run around. It's right there. Here now. Shall we lobby our cause, That's Miss Fry? Climb up, Your Highness. Where are we headed? Belgrave Square. And on the double, my son is anticipating my arrival. Welcome, sir. Your Highness, what a surprise. <laughs> is life not about embracing the unexpected? I shall take but a few moments of your time. A matter of utmost importance must be discussed. When the Commonwealth seized the Punjab from my people. It was not a seizure, but a rightful transaction. Uh -huh. Britain promised to protect me. By robbing me of my kingdom, Parliament acted in violation of the treaty signed with my family. Here, read it. I... I was not aware. Read. That is all I ask. You are one of the few in a position to help. I will do what I can. Thank you, sir. Why is all of a sudden there's a fire? Out of girl. I trust you and your son will enjoy the ball this evening. He is newly returned from Delhi. I will share what we have discussed. It is most disconcerting. That okay. proved quite valuable. Where to now? St. James's Park. I noticed Mr. Green did not accompany you. He has other things to attend to. Ah, a pity. You two seem to get along nicely. Well, that was a problem, you see. One must not allow personal feelings to compromise one's mission. That sounds like a quotation. It is. From my father. Ethan Fry. You know him? No, unfortunately. But Mr. Green spoke of him. He sounded like an extraordinary man. Ish. He was, Your Highness. And your mother as well, Cecily Fry. She and your father were partners, inseparable. The only duo that came close to challenging Mr. Starrick. And very much in love, at least from the small amount I have been told. Cecily. I wish I could have met her. From what Mr. Green gathered, you share much in common. Your intelligence, for one. Father never spoke of her. What would Mr. Green know? He was only a boy when he trained with my father. Children can be quite perceptive, Miss Fry. Atta go. <laughs> okay. We're here. To Parliament, please. On the double. Yes, sir.
Good day, sir. Why, what are you doing here, your highness? I know how busy your days have been of late. A few moments of your time is all I require. This is all rather unorthodox, but continue. Britain was to protect me according to the treaty my family signed. Instead, she took my land. And now I hear Britain intends to strengthen her ties to India. Perhaps it is time to return the Punjab to her people. The Queen has supplied you with an annual income for God knows how long, and now you bite the hand that feeds you? It is not a matter of money. I cannot stand idle and watch my homeland subjected to the yoke of an outsider's rule. My people are treated as slaves. I will die poor a thousand times over if only to see them free. Your passion moves me, Your Highness. What would you have me do? Take this copy of the wrongful treaty and defend my claim to the throne. Help disengage the Punjab from British rule. I shall speak up, but I am only one voice. I cannot promise anything but a show of support. That is more than enough. Thank you, sir. Good day, sir. May God bless you. Only one more remains to the Gladstone Rescue. Oh, no. Do you miss India? I remember that my mother smelled of cinnamon. And when she cradled me in her arms in the summer heat, I would hold so still that she fell asleep. When I lost my kingdom, it hurt. But truly, when they took my mother away, I saw her again two years before she died. The summer long since faded. I miss her. I miss India. I love India because I love my mother. Will you ever return? I have petitioned the government several times, but they withhold their permission. Do not be fooled by appearances, Miss Fry. I am in many ways a prisoner. Perhaps we may work together more closely for your cause in the future. I would like that very much, Miss Fry. Well then! To the Sinopian Club, straight away! In the back, sir. In the back. Good day, Mr. Gladstone. Mr. Singh! You are a hard man to pin down. I know what this is about. Your politics have worn off. Your Majesty has tired of you. So now you come begging for scraps. You wound me deeply, sir. My people deserve freedom. I am here to fight for them. Why did you lose the Punjab? I shall tell you, Your Highness. You were outgunned, outmaneuvered, and simply outclassed. Yes, the Sikhs deserve freedom. I hope with British help and progress, they shall achieve it. Then why do they cry out for their king? Britain has a duty to bring about peace. It is an enormous responsibility. And I value your guidance and advice, along with that of Parliament. But it's our burden to rule India. And no. certainly not the duty of a forgotten leader who has not seen his country for 20 years. I apologize for being so frank, but one must not tell lies to a king. Much luck, your highness, with your lobbying. I hope my advice has done uh, some good. Far more than your policies thus far. But I hold out hope that you will make progress. My people are counting on it. Uh. Thank you, Miss Fry, for forwarding my cause. Oh, you are welcome. I hope some good comes of it, despite Mr. Gladstone's vitriol. Those of us with the largest hearts protect them the most. Your father, for instance. From what I understand, he was extraordinarily sad. Broken, even, after your mother's passing. That kind of pain can blind us, cause us to say outlandish things to protect the ones we love. It's time you returned this carriage and recovered those plans. They are located in Buckingham Palace. The Queen keeps them among her personal papers in the white drawing room. I wish you a good evening, Miss Evie Fry. 
And to you, your highness. Hope you get your country back. Avi, nice to see you again. I have to bring you back. I worked hard to steal it. There you go. Here now. There you are. Easy. Easy. Slowly. There you go. All the way back. Those coppers won't believe their eyes. The other ones. She's done for. All the sisters so far. Oh, we just have to borrow it for a little while. Ah, oh, damn it! The music is gonna hit me. Music in Assassin's Creed is always hitting me. Yay! Cloak of Victory! Oh, let me grab the chest and look into that. the same one. Yeah, sure. It's more nicely. The Royal Cloak. Rothfield Sterrick. Tulip Singh, younger son of the Maharaja Ranjit Singh. The last Maharaja of the Sikh Empire at the age of five. It was in England that he was befriended by Queen Victoria. This in the care of Dr. John Loggin. Who did not invent logins. Age 15, he was exiled to Britain. Uh, gave God on several Dolip's children. I forgot his real mother. In 1856, he attempted to contact her. Intercepted by the British in India. He was allowed to meet her in January 1861. Uh, no longer had the British interest in India and allowed to attend with Dolip to the United Kingdom. In two years before she died, she taught her son about the Sikh, his Sikh heritage. Dulip would spend the rest of his life attempting to return. The Royal Muse. You're not my type. I hope the authorities make them pay. Uh, 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 uh. Someone help me! Someone help me! Yeah. Oh. 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 
all enjoy carving you! Ah! Huh? Oh, Don't you tell me how far it is. We have an important job right, to do. Then. Yes, go. Here, boss. Thank you. Let's go. Thank you. Jacob and Evie must stop Crawford Starek from attacking at the ball, assassinate him, and then gain control of the piece of Eden. Yeah, that should be the last mission. <laughs> oh, nice. Of course, he'd arrive in that. Miss Fry? Hand him your weapons. We must enter an armed. Couldn't that thing close? You look ravishing, Catherine. I swear, I could never love you. <laughs> Not in a million years, William. So, madam, your card. I seem to have Where is my card? my card. Go on in, Sorry, sir, madam. Without cards. Dear me. I am soon to become a prime minister. What in the blazes <laughs> is our carriage doing here? <laughs> Did I hear something? No, just the voices in your own head. And yet... They are so much more pleasant than yours. Charming. Aren't I? Follow Jacob. Why am I following Jacob? Can you even move in that dress? I shall go and find the piece of Eden. As you wish. I'm off to meet Freddy. The plans are located in the white drawing room, which is most likely locked. The captain of the guard will have a key. Oh, great. What murder all of a sudden? Yeah, she can't run. No offense, my dear, but I believe there is a reason. What's that you said? That's not to say 
I can't do this on my own. Uh, ow. I'm here. Let me go before set the Thames on the fire. <laughs> Who's that guy in red? In the white room with black curtains. It's really as simple as that. Shouldn't you be at home with Congratulations. Where are your hands so straight? Yeah, so how am I gonna get there? Get there. Yeah, it's Buckingham Palace. Some of them close. I What if I switched it? No. I got off at Shannon. The captain said he was And just knock him out. Sir, what could they be protesting? Yeah, no sneak, no run. I need to draw attention away. He's talking rubbish. That much is certain. <laughs> is it rubbish to believe that things are fine the way they are? Take a look around you. And things really fine the way they are. Intruder! She's here! Get back here! Oh, she can't run. No whistle? What the hell am I gonna do? Can't even whistle. There is a reason no woman's ever entered. 
Mr. Politics. Goodbye. No, no, she's not there anymore. Well, to cut the line, the bait. Cuts to the heart of the matter. Okay. Oh, I get it. I still need to catch one of them alone. Let's try and grab one of the red ones. Keep your mouth closed, and this will be over before you know it. Who are you? This will just go on and on, won't it? Mm. Get it to hide. Looks like a mess, is gentle. My arm. Be quiet, cooperate, and no problem. Gentle. Something that gracious. Good reason indeed. My arm. No, no, she's not there anymore. The lady is with me. Much obliged, madam. Thank you. Get the intruder! Surrender! But, but, but I will. But, but. Excuse me. Somebody stop that in. You are going to escort me. Keep your mouth closed, and this will be over before you know it. Who are you? No one you should be really concerned about. That hurts. That hurts. What are those brigands up to now? My arm! Gentle! Gentle! That hurts! no way to behave! Something needs sorting over there! My arm! Congratulations! How wonderful! I think I'll take to fatherhood like a duck. The lady is with me. Much obliged. Madam? Are you gonna get out of the way? Gentle! My arm! Ugh! <sighs> Gentle! Gentle! My arm! Gentle! That hurts. Mr. And Mr. Disraeli are so set on putting each other down. It wouldn't surprise me if the likes of Starrick slipped behind them. Shh. We're almost done. My arm. That hurts. One. My arm. Can I shove him somewhere? 
my arm. Let's just say you went outside Gentle. for some air, the air was so nice, you fell asleep. <gasps> Pleasant dreams. The plans are somewhere nearby. Now for the vault. Close the door. Leave through the other door. Because of the women's dress. Maybe through here? Turn it on. Got a problem here. to sneak to here somehow. Let me guess, I need to kidnap someone else. I miss running. Running was fun. What the 
I'm here! <sighs> Which one? Oh, come on. Watch this! You really gonna show your face here? Your guts, I'll give you that! We'll take them together! Take who, what now? Okay, another idea. Let's go for a stroll. Wait. Jacob's most likely off stealing another carriage somewhere, or accidentally pushing the Queen down a flight of stairs. <laughs> what? Where are the girls? 